Vibrations on a string on another planet. Consider the apparatus shown in the figure below. A hanging object with mass capital M and the light string is vibrating in its third harmonic. The apparatus is taken to another planet, the string starts vibrating in its second harmonic, and the frequency of vibrations is halved. Find the gravitational acceleration on that planet in terms of the gravitational acceleration on Earth. So I'm going to start with defining. Uh, so let's define the gravitational acceleration on Earth is G. The tension on the string on Earth, I'm going to call T. The gravitational acceleration on the other planet I will call G prime, that is G planet. And the tension in the other planet I'm going to call T prime, so it is T planet. So if I concentrate on this mass and show the forces acting on it, I see that there will be the weight of the uh, mass, which is m times g on earth and there will be the tension t that will be opposing the weight. So the free body diagram for the block with mass capital M shows two forces one uh, in the minus j hat direction so if I call this the y-axis and one in plus j hat direction, that's the tension. So this is for Earth. And the net force on the y-axis is zero at equilibrium. So this is telling me that the tension on Earth is equal to the weight on Earth. So this is for the Earth. Now, if I take it to the other plane, and what would change here? Tension would become T prime and the weight would become capital M G prime. So this would be the situation in the other planet. And the propagation speed is on Earth V square root tension divided by mass per unit length of the spring which will be uh, the tension is balancing the weight mg divided by mass per unit length of the string. All right. Now, <clears throat> the problem statement says it's vibrating in its third harmonic. As you can see, I have a node, anti-node, node, anti-node, node, anti-node, anti -node, node. So let me label this on the figure. This is a node, anti-node, node, anti-node, node, anti-node, anti -node, node. So that's the uh, third harmonic. This is uh, on Earth. Now let me recall what happens uh, for a standing wave on a string with two fixed ends. A string with two fixed ends will have a node on one end and another node in the other end. So the fundamental mode for standing waves would be node, anti-node, node. So we have to start with a node and end with a node. So this is the fundamental mode. Uh, lambda 1 divided by 2, because we have half a wavelength between two nodes, is equal to the length of the string. Uh, second harmonic, node, anti-node, node, anti-node, anti -node, node. This is the second harmonic. Lambda 2. The distance between these two ends is now lambda over 2, lambda over 2. A full wavelength is equal to L. 
And the third harmonic, note, anti-node, node, anti-node, node, anti-node, anti -node, node. Third harmonic would have 3 lambda 3 over 2 is equal to the length. We have lambda over 2, lambda over 2, lambda over 2, 3 lambda over 2. Uh, so that this would give us for the wavelength lambda 3, 2L over 3, length of the string over 3. The As you can see, the wavelengths for the nth harmonic are given by 2L divided by N. So for the fundamental, it is 2L, second harmonic is L, third harmonic is 2L over 3. So N is 1, 2, 3, an integer. Now the corresponding vibration frequency F3 is equal to uh, the propagation speed V divided by lambda 3. V is equal to lambda F. So I can see that the frequency is 3 divided by 2L. Uh, the propagation speed on Earth, mg over mu square root. Now, when taken to the other planet, so we go to the other planet now. Uh, what will happen is it will start oscillating in its second harmonic. So we will have lambda 2 is equal to L and the frequency, new frequency, will be the propagation speed on that planet divided by lambda 2, which is 1 over L a square root of mg prime over mu. Mass per unit length doesn't change. The tension uh, changes. Now you can see here T prime is mg prime over mu. So this T prime over mu is basically square root mg prime over mu. And the propagation speed v prime is, as I have just mentioned, square root of the tension on that planet divided by mu, which is m nu gravitational acceleration mu square root. Now the problem statement says the frequency we go to the second harmonic and the frequency is halved. So the new frequency is actually uh, F3 that I have just calculated on Earth divided by 2. So this is equal to, instead of 3 over 2L, 3 over 4L square root of mg over mu. All right, and this must be equal to 1 over L square root of mg prime over mu. So we can see that if I take the square of both sides, now the L's will cancel, mu's will cancel, m's will cancel, and I will be left with, uh, if I take the square of the left hand side, 9 over 16 times g is equal to g prime. So the new gravitational acceleration is 9 over 16 times the gravitational acceleration on Earth. So to summarize, we have a apparatus where a mass, capital M, is hanging uh, from a string and the string is vibrating in its uh, third harmonic on Earth. We take it to another planet. It starts vibrating in its second harmonic and the vibration frequency is half of that on Earth. So we want to know how the gravitational acceleration changed. So first I wrote the equilibrium condition. Tension is equal to mg on Earth and also on the other planets. So T prime is mg prime. The propagation speed of waves is square root T over mu. So that would be square root mg over mu on Earth, square root mg prime over mu on the other planet. And the third harmonic corresponds to 
a wavelength of 12 over 3. As you can see, our boundary condition is that these two ends should be nodes. So with that, the frequency f3 is v over lambda 3, 3 over 2 l square root mg over mu. On the other planet, the frequency is half of this, 3 over 4 l square root mg over mu. But it's also the second harmonic, so the wavelength is equal to the full length of the string. So 1 over l square root mg prime over mu, v prime over lambda 2 is equal to the frequency. So these two should be the same, and this gives me that the gravitational acceleration on the other planet is 9 over 16 times the gravitational acceleration on Earth.